pals, coming up on this week's episode of Go With The Heat, the Vice team gets help from high-end technology to bust the cash smuggler in the episode Lend Me An Ear. On this week in Vice, we'll be covering when this episode of Miami Vice aired, from February 23rd to March 1st, 1987, when Miami Vice was king. In news, on February 25th, the NCAA delivered the quote-unquote death penalty to Southern Methodist University football team, canceling the entire 1987 season and all home games in the 1988 season. Eventually, SMU would cancel the rest of the 1988 season and would feel the effects of the punishment for decades. The investigation stemmed from a slush fund that paid players and their family to come to SMU. In music, Bon Jovi is still dominating the charts with our smash hit, Living on a Prayer, so it's back to the archives. This week, we're going to double dip. At number 7 on the Hot 100 is Respect Yourself by the one and only Bruce Willis. Not only is this song hanging out in the Billboard Top 10 and is performed by an actor who previously appeared on Miami Vice, but the song is also featured in this week's episode. Check out the music segment in this Friday's Go With The Heat to get John's breakdown on Buck Buck's biggest hit. In movies, in case you didn't know, 1987 is an amazing year for movies. Throughout the year, tentpole films will hold the top spot on the box office, but so many great movies were released, I'm going to be mentioning more than one a week in many instances. This week is a perfect example. Replacing Platoon at the top is Nightmare on Elm Street 3 Dream Warriors, starring Heather Langenkamp, Patricia Arquette, and Larry Fishburne. Written by Wes Craven, the film returns to its roots where Freddy seeks revenge against the children of the people who burned him. Also playing in theaters is Some Kind of Wonderful. Starring Eric Stoltz, Mary Stewart Masterson, and Leah Thompson, the plot is a coming-of-age love story that finds three people caught in a love triangle. The movie is produced by the great John Hughes and is directed by Howard Dutch, the pair behind Pretty in Pink. And that's everything you need to know that was happening when Miami Vice was king. Be sure to join us on Go With The Heat at GoWithTheHeat.com. I'd love to hear from you. Email the show GoWithTheHeat at gmail.com or follow me on Twitter at Dom Corvo. That's all for this week. Bye, pals.